Hi, this is Nahid. I'd like to tell you a little bit about a workshop that we have coming up that we're affectionately calling the Pleaser Workshop. It's all about the Pleaser Saboteur. So what is the Pleaser Saboteur? Well, the Pleaser Saboteur is one of 10 saboteurs in the PQ operating system in the book Positive Intelligence by Shirzad Shamin. Now, the good thing is, is if you attend this workshop, you don't need to know anything about positive intelligence because everyone has these saboteurs, no matter what we call them. So what is a pleaser saboteur? The pleaser saboteur is the part of you that believes that if you aren't useful enough or helpful enough or pleasing enough to others, they won't like you. And if they don't like you, they might even leave. And this causes you to feel almost driven to engage in certain behaviors that will ensure that you're helpful enough and useful enough to others. The pleaser saboteur kind of compels you to give and give and give to others, to always say yes to things, even when you don't really want to, and to even try to guess what people might need. It makes you really, really nervous if somebody else is giving a lot to you. You feel really uncomfortable receiving from others. There's almost a balance sheet going on in your head. And if someone else is giving you more than you're giving them, that can be very scary because the scale's not balanced enough. You like to always be the one that is giving more and that is very obviously giving more because you want others to need you and feel that you're helpful and useful. So of course, from giving, 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 you tend to exhaust yourself because there's an unlimited amount of giving that you can do. And so we tend to feel exhausted, drained. We tend to resent that we're not getting a lot of support from other people. Maybe other people aren't even appreciating how much we do for them. And that can make life kind of miserable and it can make relationships kind of miserable. Learning about your pleaser saboteur can help you set better boundaries because people who have a pleaser saboteur may know about setting boundaries, but they may have a hard time actually doing it. It can help you get your needs met because typically if you have a pleaser saboteur, you're worried about everybody else's needs and you're making sure they get their needs met, but you put your own needs on the back burner. It can help you feel less anxious. So often it's hard to stand up for ourselves if we have a strong pleaser saboteur. And so learning about your pleaser saboteur can help you calm yourself down, stand up for yourself a little bit more, find your voice and be less anxious in the process. And it improves all of your relationships because they become more authentic, more balanced, and you end up receiving just as much as you're getting. What exactly are we going to be doing in the workshop? Well, there's a, quite a few things. The first thing we're going to do, which is really important to do in a group setting, is we're going to have people share what their pleaser saboteur is like in their head. What does it tell them if they hear it? What does it compel them to do? Now, keep in mind that if you're a little bit nervous about sharing some of these inner workings of your mind, you're not going to have to. We always have a safe environment in our classes and you can be a fly on the wall and not participate or share personal stories if you don't want to. But from my experience, we have plenty of people who are willing to share and it's always really useful to hear about the stories of others who have the same saboteur that you do so that you can really understand how it's operating in you. So that's something that we're gonna start with. The next thing we're gonna do is talk a little bit about how the pleaser saboteur typically originates in people. All these things originate in childhood and they start out from a desire to protect you and as a way to help you cope. But then over the years, it gets to a point where it doesn't serve you as much as maybe other behaviors could serve you. So we'll talk about that a little bit. You'll learn how that works and you may resonate with it. You may, res may not, but you'll probably get some pretty good insights. And then we'll talk to you about how you can make a shift to empower yourself. So the first thing we'll talk to you about is what is the belief that needs to shift so that you can be very clear on where the shift needs to happen in your belief system in order to start counteracting this behavior. Because just learning about it and knowing about it will not make a difference if your belief that you will be abandoned if you are not pleasing to others stays intact.
as long as it stays intact, you won't be able to change the behavior. You won't be able to set boundaries effectively. You won't be able to get your needs met and you'll continue to be exhausted. So this is really important. But once you learn cognitively what it is in your beliefs that will change, the next thing we'll do is we'll get very practical with you. So we will leave you with some specific practices you can use to progress along the path of counteracting the pleaser and getting more peace, support, and energy in your life. I'm really excited about the class. I think it's going to be fun. Even more so, I love spending an entire hour just being able to focus on one saboteur and dive really, really deep so that you can really find that piece of you and work with it a little bit. So I'm very excited about the discussion. I think it's going to be really rich. Join us on June 5th. It's 12 to 1 Pacific time. The details are below. And even if you can't join us, please help me spread the word. Send this on to others. There are so many people who give so much that they get walked over. And this could be a really empowering workshop for them. Thank you very much. Hope to see you there.